Hello, my friends. Welcome to Story Time. Let's read today's story together. The Pout Pout Fish and the Can't Sleep Blues by Deborah Dyson. Late one quiet evening in the inky ocean deep, Mr. Fish blub blubbed. Oh, I can't get to sleep. His mind was fizzy busy and his fins were full of whim. Though he wanted to be dozing, there were zero Z's for him. I can't drop into dreamland. I can't slide into snooze. I'm wide awake. It's hard to take the can to sleep blues. A sleepy voice spoke softly. Need some tips? inquired Miss Clam. Just watch and see, and soon you'll be as drowsy as I am. Smooth your seaweed bedding, then imagine fluffy sheep. Count them one to twenty, and then presto, fall asleep. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Miss Clam, I need more help. Miss Clam replied, <coughs> Then a sleepy voice spoke softly. Here's an even better fix you will love, said Mr. Crab. All my get to sleep quick tricks. Just put on purple PJs and five or six orange socks. Then soothe your busy thinking on a pillow made of rocks. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch his snooze. Mr. Crab, what now? Mr. Crab replied. <sighs> then a sleepy voice spoke softly. Here is what I would suggest. Guaranteed, said Mr. Eel, to yield a pleasant night's rest. First, ripple to the left, then ripple to the right. Next, swirl in a circle, swish, swish, nighty night. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Mr. Eel, what's the deal? Mr. Eel replied, Then a sleepy voice spoke softly. For your slumber in the sea, here's a plan, said Mrs. Squid. That always does the trick for me. Just widen out your eyes and give four quick, tiny blinks. Then slowly close your lids. Automatic 40 wings. Mr. Fish took the advice, but he couldn't catch a snooze. Mrs. Squid, more ideas? Mrs. Squid replied. <coughs> then Mr. Fish heard nothing, just a symphony of snore. He still couldn't sleep. He felt worse than before. I took all of their suggestions, which I followed to a T. Their methods worked for them, but they did not work for me. I don't know what to do. He sank down in the kelp. What good is good advice? 
it does not always hold. Then a sparkly voice simmered. Mr. Fish, you're partly right. The voice was dear Miss Shimmers. Her smile was kind and bright. But take what you've been given and learn from what you've tried. Then build your own solution. Trust yourself as a guide. The best advice of all said Miss Shimmer to her friend, is to learn what works for you and make your own special plan. With that, she said goodnight and departed from the scene. Now Mr. Fish was ready to create his own routine. I'll settle my spot. I'll smooth my seaweed bed. I'll smooch my snoozy snuggly, then I'll clear my busy head. I'll swoosh in gentle motion in the ocean wide and deep. I'll close my eyes, fins tucked in, and drift right off to sleep. Mr. Fish had tried his best to resolve his can't sleep blues. Mr. Fish, how did go? Mr. Fish replied... <sniffs> hey my friends, what is your bedtime routine? Thank you for listening to my story. Till next story, keep reading!